What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Panther, and welcome, yo faces, of course, to the starting room challenge here on Zetsubo no Shima. That's right, we're playing on Zetsubo no Shima. I have yet to do the starting room challenge for this map, and uh, I'm like, you know what? We we gotta do this. We gotta do this because uh, I haven't I haven't done the starting room challenge for this map yet. Actually, wait, have I? No, I haven't. Right? No, there's no 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 no. I I haven't done it yet. I haven't done it yet. So uh, let's let's just honestly get this going. There's there's no real reason to point hoard. Nice, got a plant already. We can be uh, we can be getting these plants, which is good. Hopefully we can get like some some good weapons and stuff. You know, it's just gonna be a, a chill kind of laid back commentary. I really do like the Zetsubo starting room. I think it's I think it's really good. I think Zetsubo is just actually an underrated map. I think a lot of people in the community hate it, but I honestly think it's a brilliant brilliant map. What up What up, fam squad? All right. Um. No gobble gums, no gobble gums. I'm just doing that to get uh, 10 points. All right, let's see. What are we going to get from you? Something good? Oh, all right. Just ammo for the MR6. That works too. You know, I, I always appreciate some some good ammo, some reloads up in there. It's, it's always a good thing, you know? Man, I'm okay, I'm listening to music at the same time while doing this, and it's a little bit distracting. Maybe maybe that was a bad idea. It doesn't have vocals or anything. It's it's all just instrumental, but... Oh, it kind of kind of just clouded my uh, my thought process right there. I, I heard the little guitar strum, and I'm like, oh, what was I talking about again? But nah, nah, full focus, full focus on zombies. What is that? Double points, kind of unnecessary, but you know what? We'll take it, we'll take it. You can die. Nice, another seed. You can die, too. Oh, and another one, like a boss. All right, let's, let's plant that motherfucker, and we can get that uh, seed going. All right, let's see. Let's get LRK5 with the beautiful Into the Void camo. You know, I think this camo is, uh, I think this be- <laughs> I think this camo, right here, the one that I'm looking at right now, is better than Dark Matter. Do I have Dark Matter on my Shiva? I don't. I have Intensity on the Shiva. But I do honestly think Into the Void is a better camo than Dark Matter, which I think is kind of a, a slap to the face to all those people who have uh, dark matter, because like you know, it's it was so hard to grind for it. Like I have dark matter. You guys can look in uh, some of my older, not older, but I guess some of my other videos, and uh, I have dark matter. And you know, it it was a pain. It was a pain trying to get it. I think I I think I spent like two months working on it. Something something like that. I did. Oh man, it was it was rough. Like I. When Black Ops Three first came out and dark matter was like announced and stuff, and people were finding it, I was like, oh shoot. Oh shoot, like I really, really want this camo and stuff, you know what I'm saying? But, what are you gonna give me? Locust would be cool. Okay, you're gonna give me a zombie, that's cool. Ooh, let's, let's, let's plant something again. Oh, I have to wait for that to go away too. Okay, I forgot. I forgot about that. It's been a while since I played Zetsubo. But, when Black Ops 3 first came out, I told myself, there's no way I'm getting Dark Matter. Like, I, I cannot grind for that. There's there's just, like, like I don't want to do that. But then, I started playing... And there, there wasn't really a like a set weapon for me that I really, really enjoyed using. I mean, of course, there are the the really good weapons that everybody gets gold like instantly just because they use it so much. But there wasn't like a set weapon that I really, really loved and wanted to use like for the entire time. So I was just switching it up, you know, going through a lot of a lot of uh, weapons and stuff. I definitely don't like using LMGs a lot. I'm just I, I'm just not an LMG guy because that that's kind of just like you know you got to camp with LMGs and I'm. I, I just like rushing and stuff, so, you know, that was that, but, you know, since there wasn't a set weapon, I just, I played with a lot of them, and I ended up unlocking all the headshots and stuff, and headshots in this game are relatively easy, you know, the, the recoil on most guns tends to, tends to kick you towards the head, plus if you're using high caliber on the weapons that have high caliber, then, I mean, you're freaking set, right, like, there's no, there's no reason that, you know, you wouldn't be able to get those headshots, but, you know, it, it still took me a really good while, and once I got, once I got to, uh, Oh shoot, dude! I don't even know. Once, once there were there were a couple weapons that I really, really struggled with. I really, I really struggled with the PO6. I I don't know why I struggled so hard with the PO6, but like I just I was just not good with the PO6 whatsoever. Uh, so that that was a weapon I struggled with. Um, the other snipers I was fine with. The Draken was a little challenging just because you know it's the Draken. Oh. What I hated was getting the headshots for the freaking shotguns. That that challenge made no sense to me. Getting getting headshots with shotguns. Like, can can we not just go back to how it was in uh, Black Ops Two and get one shot kills with all the shotguns? Like, would it really be that bad to try to get 
people to play hardcore. I don't I don't think it would be that bad because hardcore is actually a lot of fun, mm-hmm. and it's like hardcore is all about skill. It's all about skill, reaction time, like my reaction time to this freaking zombie coming up on me. I think I jumped a little bit in my seat. I get so jumpy when I play zombies. I don't know why. I don't know. Maybe maybe it's the sounds. I think, yeah, it's probably the sounds. It's, it's probably not the whole like, the whole thing about like actually playing zombies. I think it's I think it's just the sound coupled with being immersed in everything. What was I doing? Oh, that's right. I was getting ammo for this thing. Let's see. What else did I struggle with? Um, the launchers were easy. Launchers launchers in BO3 multiplayer is they're they're pretty good. They're actually really really good. Um, if if you don't have a launcher in at least a few of your classes, like if you guys aren't running a black cell, then I mean you're missing out because the black cell is really really dank, especially with all the score streaks that can happen in certain game modes like Fracture. Dude, if you're playing Fracture and you're throwing up a freaking combat focus when you're dropping everything, oh, dude, you're set. We're playing zombies though. Why am I talking about multiplayer? I was talking about uh, I was talking about Into the Void camo being better than Dark Matter, which it is. Let's be honest, like. Hold on, let me pull it out. Look at look at this camo. There's you can't tell me that this is not better than Dark Matter. It's it, it, Dark Matter doesn't live up to this. Like I think I don't know. I think this should have been the Dark Matter camo. That would have been mm, well. I don't know actually. Uh, you know, yeah, I don't know. Cause if whoa shoot, starting to get a uh, lots of zombies. We're gonna watch his line if you wanna watch later. Okay. You know, okay, okay. Tell tell me tell me how you guys would would respond to this. Okay, so you're playing you're playing Black Ops Three. You unlock Dark Matter, and it turns out to be this camo right here that I'm holding in my hand with the RK5, right? Okay, so this this is this is the Dark Matter camo. We're we're just pretending that this right here is Dark Matter. How would you guys respond to if you pack a punch your weapon on Revelations and you get this dark matter camo. Now, of course, on Revelations, there are different colors of everything, and everything is different, but how would you respond if you just got that camo out of the pack punch? I think it would still be fine, just because of all the different colors that you can get, but, I mean, you know, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't really know how I would exactly respond. I think it'd be pretty cool, but I think it'd be kind of funny if I put dark matter on my weapon, pack punch it, and I got out the exact same dark matter. Like, I think that'd be kind of comedic, to be honest. I think that'd be actually kind of funny to me. I'd probably laugh a little bit. I don't think I'd. I don't think I'd be. Uh, I don't think I'd be upset, per se. I'd probably just be kind of shocked. You know, I'm, I might call Treyarch a little lazy, but honestly, some of their camos are some of their camos are really good. I like how in Zombies Chronicles they released all the, uh, you know, the the pack punch camos for DE. How you can get all the different colors on it. I've, I love that, dude. Because because that's really what I wanted for, for Dark Matter. Like, I wanted there to be, like, some kind of update or something. Like, that whole rumor thing when that when those videos were going around of different colored Dark Matter camos. Like, dude, that was dope. And I was like, dude, please, please let this be real. And, like, I knew it wasn't real. Like, obviously. Like, you, you could tell. There were mistakes in the videos where you could just tell 100% that it wasn't real. But I was just sitting there, and I'm like, dude, this, this needs to be a thing. Like, Treyarch needs to come out with an update where it's just different colored, different colors of dark matter. I think that'd be so dank. That'd be, oh dude, dude, I'd love that. Like, j- just imagine, like, a bright blue, like, like the blue. Yeah, yeah, okay. Think of, think of the ice camo, but make it more dark matter. Like, you know, add, add the little, the little movements of the space and the, 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 the atomic, whatever it is, I don't know. I don't know, like the like just the smoke inside of it, like make it like the light blue color, like ice. Oh, dude, I would love that. I think that'd be so. I think that'd just be really, really good looking. I would love that to be honest. Can you give me something good, please? A locust. You know, I'm gonna take it. Where did it? Oh, there it is. For some reason, it swapped to the Shiva as soon as I picked it up. That was weird. Maybe this was not a good idea. However, maybe it was. Oh, that was a fail. My quickscope skills are are off. I forgot that I put an elo on the uh, on the snipers. Whoa. Okay, that could have been bad. Oh, okay. Little little weird frame glitches up in here. This is so. This is just easy mode right here. Oh no 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 no. There's gonna be a thrasher. No. 
No! No! Kill it! Kill it! Kill it! Where'd it go? Ain't no thrashers gonna be spawning up in here. Thank you. My phone's buzzing. Who's who's trying to who's trying to talk to me? Oh, it's Instagram. Hmm. Okay. That's cool. Whatever. People are trying to talk to me. I'm popular. Not really. That's a lie. Um. Yeah, let's do that. YOLO, right? I probably shouldn't be wasting all my ammo with this locust because it's kind of my saving grace weapon. I should probably just stick with. Oh. Dope. Sick. Nice. This is going pretty well so far. Oh, and I totally forgot that there's no uh, quick revive in this room. Huh. Okay. So, th this is what I like about the uh, the Zet starting room. I, it's it's big. It's open. It's nice and cl like you can train in this in this starting room if you wanted to. And some of the other ones, I mean, you really can't. Like, there's not really much training room in uh, GK. There's not. Okay, you can you can train in Revelations. I guess I guess the starting room kind of is a lot of people's main training room. You know, the starting room is is where they tend to go for revelations a lot of times. Uh, let's see, DE, not really much of training opportunities in that map, in the starting room at least. Um, let's see, Shadows of Evil, there's definitely no training whatsoever in that starting room, so that's just a mess and a half right there. Let's see, what uh, what else is there? Yeah, is that you can you can you can train in here. This 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 little room is definitely big enough. GK not really in, in Revelation. Yeah, I went through them. All. Oh, the giant. Uh, yeah, you you can train in the giant. The giant starting. That's that's where I train. That's that's where I train. Like if I'm playing on the giant and stuff, I typically will try to train and hoard in the uh, in the spawn room. Huh? Ooh, I kind of want to take it just for the lulls, but I know that's a really bad idea. Tell me like a hell cut.